Guys, a lot of people have been buying crashed or slightly damaged or used electric cars for incredibly low prices. They're being written off as being undrivable, even just from small smashes that clearly are very fixable. So people are buying these at auction. I've seen many, many listings on Facebook uh, from auction sites selling these electric cars for incredibly low prices, between five to $10,000 for cars that are almost new. People are using these cars for vehicle to grid. So how are they doing this when these cars are not enabled for vehicle to grid? You would think, right, it wouldn't work. Well, actually that's not true. Tesla and BYD vehicles are capable of vehicle to grid. It just sort of, it's a little more complicated. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, Tesla and BYD vehicles do not have the inverter needed for you to basically run vehicle to grid. You can get that though in a BYD Powerwall box, like a, a BYD external battery, which is a lot like the Tesla Powerwall. And the Tesla Powerwall also has an inverter that you can use for your Tesla vehicle to run vehicle to grid. Now, I talk about Tesla in a separate video. I'll put a link in the description to my video about Teslas. Teslas actually do have the capability of vehicle to grid at 10 kilowatt, as in they can, they can send 10 kilowatt to your home. And the Tesla Powerwall 3 has the ability to discharge 11.5 kilowatt. So it's actually a really good match. Tesla said they'll turn this on, this feature on in 2025 in their new cars. Now, we don't know if that's really gonna happen yet, but we do know that existing Model Ys and Model 3s have the ability to do that. But do BYD cars? Well, technically, no. Technically, BYD vehicles have the ability for vehicle to load, not vehicle to grid, which is quite different. The BYD Addo 3 is a small electric SUV. Of course, it's made in China. They're very, very affordable, new, but obviously secondhand. You can get them, um, especially if they're damaged, you can get them for between five and $10,000 if they've been written off. And that happens. I mean, to be honest, just very small crashes, insurance companies are not sure about it, so they just write them off. Now the Addo 3 features vehicle to load functionality, as does most BYD vehicles, via an adapter that plugs into the car's external charging port on the front right side of the car. The car can support a maximum of 3.6 kilowatt, but the rated maximum load of the adapter comes with it is only 2.2 kilowatt. It's obviously really not enough to run your home on 2.2 kilowatt. 3.6 is actually relatively low. For example, the new vehicle that I've purchased, the Xpeng G6, I'll put a link in the description below to the uh, page where you can find out the cost and all that kind of stuff. That has six kilowatt right? Six kilowatt, that's significantly higher than 2.2. You could potentially run a lot of your home devices on six. In fact, you could probably run your entire home on six. I use less than that, significantly less than that. But 2.2 is probably not quite enough for most households. Anyhow, the battery size in the Addo 3, which is obviously the most popular, well, in terms of total sales figures in Australia and in many countries outside of China, this is the most popular EV in terms of total sales. The battery size, the long range battery pack is a 60 kilowatt hour battery. It's an LFP battery. This thing will last forever. So there's no reason not to use it for vehicle to grid in terms of battery longevity. However, obviously it's not technically enabled for vehicle to grid. However, once again, there was a test done in, I believe Germany and a company called Ambibox, they tested a BYD Addo 3 using the a bi-directional charger. It worked successfully. It discharged seven kilowatt. Now seven kilowatt, you don't need more than that. That's an, that's gonna be enough unless you're running every air conditioner in your house and you and your dryer all at once. You know, I don't think many households would be doing that. So seven kilowatt would be enough for probably 95% of households. This confirmed that BYD EVs are capable of vehicle to home or vehicle to grid, which is basically the same thing, using a compatible bi-directional charger without any vehicle modifications at all. Is this legal? Can you legally do this? No, it's not legal, except in South Australia. In South Australia, it is legal. Of course, South Australia is much more forward thinking than the rest of Australia. However, there's a bit more that you need to know, right? Uh, there's a post from Manfred, the CEO of Ambibox in Germany, and I'll put a link in the description below. He said, digging deeper into a discussion thread, it would reveal the system was externally controlled via the HEMS supplied home energy management system. Uh, it works with CCPP, uh, which is more universal though. BYD has implemented the ISO 15118 standard. Anyhow, what this means, you do need an inverter. You do need to have the ability to um, essentially manage that electricity 
and send it into your home. So you can't just directly just plug it straight into your house. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You will need, like I mentioned earlier in the video, an inverter and that a lot of people who have solar will, will probably potentially have that inverter, maybe or maybe not, but you can talk to an electrician. You can talk to, I mean, in fact, use the, the solar company that I use. They'll tell you, they'll need, they'll tell you what you need to know. If you don't have solar, you should definitely get it. And I'll put a link in the description to Resync Solar who installed my, my solar system. That is in Australia, by the way, guys. They are, I believe, planning on expansion to America, but they haven't done that yet. Biggest solar company in Australia, and I use them because they have the best reviews. I'll put a link in the description. So if you haven't got solar yet, call those guys and get it installed. That's who did my solar system. And like I said, they have the best reviews of any company, I think, in the world, for any solar company in the world. Staggering. BYD, bi-directional charging. I want to see people test this in person. I know this has been tested in Germany. I believe it will work simply by using a, a bi-directional charging cable that any modifications of the car but like I said, it's not technically legal. I'm not telling you to do this, but I would. I don't see why not. I don't, I don't think it matters. I don't think anyone's ever gonna know that you're using a battery to charge your home. And honestly, what's the difference? I mean, in between having a, a home battery pack versus using your EV to charge your home, I don't think it's a problem. I don't think there's any way for them to catch you. Legally though, I didn't tell you to do it. I just told you it is actually possible. Thanks for watching.